good morning and welcome back to Nebula Quest. I am Doden, your host, as always. So, um, when last we left off, we were, well, I guess we were on our way to the Taylor Swift station here in the, uh, Malenga Union... Malenga... Uh, star system, I suppose, that's where we are? I don't even know anymore. Um, I mean, I know we just looked at it, like, 30 seconds ago, but... Engines engaged. Home, insert... Yep. Landing gear retracted. Cargo scoop, Cargo scoop retracted. Yep. Yep, we got it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we were on our way here to uh, the Taylor Swift because we were running a little bit long in the old in the old time department, and we're oh, flying poorly today. But we are continuing on our way towards the Horsehead Nebula, and we are having a good time doing it. We are playing our course our great game space car bingo and um, in our last episode we uh, marked off um, what did we mark off we marked off um, oh binary system I think we marked off binary system that's what it was because we'd found that binary system and there was like two stars and they were like 50,000 light seconds away or some crazy amount of it was quite a ways basically is what you know quite a ways away um, alright, so we, I've plotted in our course already, and we're just sort of mucking about, bouncing around a little bit. Um, there's actually one really good inhabited place that's, like, really close by, so, otherwise, I don't know where we're going to spend the night. Um, I also didn't, oops, start the fire, so there we go. Um, yeah, so, otherwise, I don't know where we're going to spend the night. That's going to be an issue, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, what we're gonna talk about today? Ooh, I was gonna talk about. Oh, I was gonna talk about this. Something that happened to me. Woo! Whoa, let's get out of the way of that thing. In the real world, I'm not gonna be able to fuel off that. So, oh, but we did discover it. So let's just slow it down just a little bit. We'll turn around. Yes. Yeah, so something that happened to me in real life. Um, rather unfortunately, is that I got. A speeding ticket and I'm not so I ride uh, I ride motorcycles throughout like 80% of the year 20% of the year it snows too much here that I like there's just too much snow or salt and whatnot on the ground I just can't ride so at current um, we are in one of those this is a very bleak and empty place um, just take a quick little peek see around here. I'll see. That kind of looks like a thing over there. But I don't think it is. Oh, that does. Oh, that definitely does. Oh, let's look at that. Let me look at this. Let's go this way just a little bit. Um, and in fact, let's go this way just a little bit. So, um, yeah, so 80% of the year I'm riding on my motorbike and having a good time and going. Let's just assume that it were that I'm I, that I usually travel at a speed that's slightly above what is dictated by the signage that you know is around. Um, I'm actually going to say that there's nothing here, um, but right now there's there's a bunch of snow and salt and stuff on the ground, and it's not safe to go riding your motorbike. So I'm not. Um, Let's head towards this guy instead. And yeah, that's pretty big too. Um, but yeah, so I'm not riding around, so I'm in the car, and I got a speeding ticket in the car, and I didn't think, you know, if I was going to get a speeding ticket, I didn't think it would be in the car. I really thought, you know, if I'm going to get a speeding ticket, it's going to be on the bike. And, um, um, but yeah, so we're, I'm just traveling down the road. There's a, a highway here, we call it the EC Row Expressway, is what it's actually called. And I need to retarget my destination. Thank you. Wrong destination. Actually, you know what? Before we disappear out of here, I realize this is only a brown dwarf star, but we did discover it, and I'm not seeing anything that looks promising like a, like another star or a sun. Particularly. So I'm going to pull up our space car bingo. And under the N, something that I've been meaning to mark off for quite some time. Under the N, no satellite. No satellite. Um, 
Oh, I don't know what I was talking about now. Um, speeding ticket. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we have the Easy Road Expressway. I was traveling down. No, it's under construction. I mean, like, every highway in the entire world is, like, massively under construction. But this has been under construction for a couple of years now. We're getting ready to build a new bridge to cross into Detroit or wherever it is. And uh, so there's a lot of highway stuff that's going on. So they've had this slowed down to an 80 zone for ages because there was construction going on. Well, now there's this huge section that's been like finished. It's, it's it's brand new road. It's open. Everybody's driving on it. It's a good time. No construction people, workers or vehicles or anything like that. So, but the 80 signs are still up. But nobody treats it like an 80 zone. Everybody treats it like the 100 zone that it ought to be, right? Um, little red dwarf, little little ch or is this another brown dwarf? I think maybe. Um, let's just pop out here. Is this? Let's see. Unexplored. Yes, we will explore your. Let's also use our dubstep scanner real quick here. Um, so I was doing that. I was coming home from work at like my usual time. Well, not my usual time, but a usual time. It was like one o'clock in the morning, and um, literally it was like, like, like slow to eighty sign and cop car. Like immediately, one right after the other, and um, yeah, so he dinged me, and but luckily he only like nailed me for doing. What did he actually? He ticketed me for doing what? Ninety? I think he's, he's ticketed me for doing ninety in an eighty, as opposed to doing the hundred and ten in an eighty that I was doing. Um, little brown dwarf. Okay, so where was these other unidentified miscreants? Um. Um, so that's pretty nice. I mean, it's only like a forty dollar ticket or whatever like that, but it's still almost like, oh god damn! Like really, we're gonna, we're gonna do this whole. Um, this whole ticketing thing. I'm just really sad about the whole thing. I don't have to tell you about it because I'm sad about it. Something I'm not sad about actually. Um, well, something that made me really get weird. It was like a weird, curious kind of feeling that I was having in my brain heart. Um, <laughs> my brain hurt, um, was I recently donated to a content creator. It was somebody who does a podcast. Um, and it's a podcast that I really like about, I've talked about it before. I don't know if I've talked about it on here, but I've talked about it before. Um, and I won't mention any names so that it, it, there aren't any, there aren't any questionable things going on. Or people aren't going in the, um... No, what am I talking about? I, of course I'll fucking am. I'm donating to it, and I'll definitely name it. Okay, so the the podcast is the um, Talk Nerdy Podcast with, um, wow, just completely blanked on her name, um, um, Cara Santa Maria. Talk Nerdy, Cara Santa Maria. Uh, you can find it on all your favorite podcasting delivery devices. Um, <clears throat> it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic podcast. I love it. She's... Like it's 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 smart, it's funny, it's easy to listen to, it's well produced, it's um like not over it's not overproduced I should say by when I say it's well produced it's um it's very good I like it all but so I donated to um to her to the show because I want to you know keep, I want to keep the show going because I love I love I love it and um, oh shit um. Oh, come on. We got this. We, oh. Nope, we didn't get it. Shit. Power to engines. Let's fuel up. Let's see what we got here. This is a person, isn't it? Competent clean. Shit. Okay, let's, um... Okay, when we... That's fine, that's fine. Okay, f frame shift is still a few seconds away. Come on, nearly there now. Alright, let's get it going. Oh, inhibited, of course it's inhibited. How much is it inhibited? A lot. I don't want to slow down though. He's taking a lot of just distance shots on me. Shields are holding fine. That's fine. Come on, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Alright, let's go like this guy. Put more power to the... 
I'm sure heat levels are pretty critical right now. Yeah, that's fine. He's getting, he's not catching up, so that's good. Oh, I don't have chaffs. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, dang it. Why did I hit J again? Why did I hit J again? Um, this is taking a while. So, anyways, yeah, so I wanted to donate to to her to the show um, to keep it going because, again, like I said, it's a great great show worth keeping, like worth giving money to. I've gotten hours and hours of entertainment out of it, and you know, dollars for donuts, whatever. I like to use the um, like hours of entertainment um, guide. Like, you know, if you go see a movie, whatever you get, let's say you get two hours of entertainment, but it costs you like twenty bucks to go see a movie. It's ridiculous. Um, Okay, we're going to just get out of here. Lock destination, please. Um, anyways, so what was I going to say? Um, so yeah, it's so like to, you know, hours of entertainment, whatever. So, you know, giving money to a podcast like that, I've gotten hours and hours of entertainment out of, doesn't, isn't a bad thing to me. I mean, that seems like a very logical thing to do. Um... But where I was tripping over was how much money do you actually give? Because oh, I'll take a sip of space milk here. Mmm, space milk does a space body good. Um, but yeah, like I did, couldn't figure out how much money to give. I mean, I'm, I couldn't give twenty dollars for every two-hour period that I was watching um, of like entertainment that I got out of it because I just don't have that kind of money. Is basically what it would boil down to. Um, because there's quite a there's good number of episodes. I think she's in thirty episodes or so. I don't even I don't even know. It's good it's good number. She does one every week and it's been a while. Maybe she's got fifty? She's been doing a year? I don't know. A lot. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna say. Um And um but so I've been really in, really enjoying it and just didn't I, I ain't got ain't got the kind of money to do that sort of thing. So but I wanted to give her something that give her enough money, like give the show, I should say, I should really be more specific, give the show enough money, support her, um, so it felt meaningful, I mean, like, I mean, $20, something like that is, you know, a good amount of money, but it's not, it doesn't seem meaningful, so, but at the same time, it's not like, like, $100 is like, well, it seems a little bit more meaningful, but it still doesn't seem like a very big donation. Like, it doesn't seem like a really good donation. Like, what are you going to do with $100? I mean, if this is what you're doing, if you're, if, um, if, it, it, and it's not the only thing that she she does, the podcast is, is what I'm trying to say, it isn't the only thing that she does. Um, but, I mean, if this was the only thing that she was using to make her, like, bread and butter to, to pay your bills and whatnot, like, $100, what is she going to do with $100? Um, I'm sure there's lots of people who donate, but, and she does list off the people who have donated each, like, week kind of a thing. Um, but, um, ooh, that's very, let's get away from that, please, very quickly. I have a bad habit of flying way too close to those things. Anyway. Wow. Um... But, um... What was I going to say here now? Um... Yes, yeah, so what are you going to do with... But what are you going to do with $100? Even assuming that everybody who donated gave $100... I mean, okay, so that'd be like maybe, whatever, $800 a, a week or something like that would be actually, you know, you know, that's a pretty good paycheck. But if it was only, you know, 100 you know, if there was only like, you know, say like $100 total of those other like eight things, like $200 in the week, you know, that's not nearly as... Huh. What is a Tory star? Uh, huh. I'm gonna do something, and I hope this, I really hope this works. Um. 
Um, oh, sorry, I was just reading a text message. That was a little bit wrong of me to do. All right, here we go. What is a Tory star? Let me check that. Okay, I found this on the web for what is a Tory star. Uh, no, that's not... No. Oh, not gonna help me. Okay, I will have to look that up at another time. Um, <laughs> I don't like that I just use Siri on on the, on the show. That's that's my favorite. Uh, all right, so we just got some some debris. All right, um, it seems a little bit cheap that it kind of shows you what it is that you're looking at here. Ooh, unexplored. Okay, scanning. Um, Anyway, so I ended up giving her $100, kind of a thing, and I'm like, but at the same time, and I think I mentioned in my note to her that, you know, I wish I could give more, you know, she gives so much with um, the show and her time and money, I wish that I could give more um, to help support her and keep things going, you know, um, because I, I think she does, she does produce this, um, she gives a, she has a service for us and uh, you know it's 100 percent free for us to to get I mean she does do a little bit of advertising with a few advertisers here and there but I mean it's very light and you don't feel waylaid by it or anything like that I mean as my father used to say if uh, you didn't buy a product you are the product and indeed we are the product uh, here we're being advertised to we're being sold um, but Oh, goodness, that milk is making me burpy. Um, I'll just grab this one real quick, too, just so we can say we did. Um, anyways, the, po the, the point of the whole thing is, is that um, I thought that I had under-donated, and then she got on there and she said, Oh, thanks for the very generous gift, and I'm like, okay, well, that's amazing. Like, like, okay, so apparently this is a good-sized gift, but I'm like, now, like, but I still feel like I didn't give enough, and then I'm like, well, is it because I mentioned that I wished that I'd given more, and that she'd mentioned that, and it's just all very confusing, and I just, I don't know how, <laughs> it's what, like I said, it's, it's, it makes my brain hurt, hurt, just thinking about it, because, uh, it's just a wave of, like, strange, like, strange emotions, like, not useful emotions, just very strange ones. Um, right. drive charging. let's charge away. Let's drink our space milk. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, so spacey. So milky. <clears throat> Ready to engage. Oop, throttle up. Why are we going so slow? Three, two, one, engage. Engage. So, actually, I should talk about, um, I had another thing that I was, was going to talk about, but I'm going to not talk about it. Um, or at least I'm going to pause it for a moment. Let's get away from this guy. I'm use our dubstep scammer as we do. Scammer. Um. Holy sweet bejeebus. That's, um, not small. That's not a small, small system. Um. Maybe it's just all Rockies. All rocks. Ooh, slow down. We're trying to not die. Um, so what I was going to talk about was um, voice attack and how you don't hear me using it whilst I'm flying around here. And that's indeed because I don't start it up anymore. Um, mostly it got down to... That's another one of those Tory stars. What does that mean? I'm going to look it up, and I'm going to put it on a very quick description onto the screen right now. Um, no, right now. There we go. Uh, that's what a Tory Star is. Oh, I had no idea. Um, and I still don't, but, you know, let's uh, pretend like we did anything useful here. Um, so basically it got down to um, when I was recording, I was triggering... I was triggering it too often, and I, that's totally down to the way that I speak, the way the words that I use, and how I had had it um, calibrated. So I could have gone through and made things better and u more useful, and I would be using it still. Um... Okay, I didn't know what was going on there, um, and I would still be using it, um, except for, you know, it, it, it's going to take a little bit more work. I'm. I probably will 
at some point in the near future try to um, get it sorted and start using it again uh, just because it is really fun and I did spend some money on it so I feel a little obliged to use it um, but um, at the same the the other issue that I had with it was um, as I would adjust the can I not no I did not what, what, am, I, what am I doing huh? what are you doing um I was gonna say is that uh, I would adjust the volume every time I started like I would lower the volume on it every time I wanted to use it to record because it, it comes through just a little bit louder than I need it to with the rest of the audio for recording purposes so I lower it down a little bit if I never close the program the next time that I that I start the game up and start using it, it the volume will be back up where it was. Now this is not the program's fault, this is a Windows issue or something, I don't know. Um, and maybe I had closed the program, I don't know, but it was every time and it was just getting to be a hassle and I was just, I was bothered slightly. I was slightly inconvenienced and that's all it takes for me to just stop doing something, is just to be slightly inconvenienced. Well, um... It's about time that we found ourselves a place to lay down again. So let's pop up just, let's just point slightly away from the star so we don't go crashing. Let's go take a look at our galaxy map. What do we got nearby here? O-Gunner. We can go to the O-Gunner station. This looks like it would have a... It does not. Okay. Let us go exit. Um, that's pretty far. Hmm. We're going to need a station sooner or later. There's nothing in our... In our path, it does. So we could pop up and go to care. That's going. That's backtracking, though. Let's see. I think because I think that's got a station. It does. Requires some backtracking. Let's, I didn't mean to leave the entire. I have to remember not to hit the escape key. One of these days, I will remember. But that's probably our best bet. I'm not seeing anything that's closer. That's likely to have a um, station at it where we can rest our weary bones a night. Uh, and that's just one that we discovered, right? Okay. So let us... Oops. Again. Didn't mean to hit exit. Let's go back to cared. Thank you. I hit the wrong button again because I'm an idiot. There we go. That's just two two quick jumps. All right, so let us do that. It's a bit of a backtrack, and I will actually end the episode here. I'm gonna finish um, collecting these unexplored bits and pieces, and then I'll pop over to Cared, and I will see you guys next time. Of course, I will keep recording right now in case uh, anything of interest does arise, like we get interdicted interdicted a gain those bastards um, that top line there guys close binary no satellite 10 stars on the on the space car bingo looking pretty full too now we just need to find a uh, what do we got here what is, what does that say a neutron star a neutron star if a Tory star is a neutron star we will have a line oh no we have a trinary system oh never mind 86 that I completely just not even reading the card right, but we're it's getting full. It's uh, it's a good time. All right, whatever. You're rambling. Shut up. Ciao, love you. Good night.